could tell because we didn't see it in Monday Night yeah. Raw recap. Justin's not here, but mm -hmm. that's okay. He doesn't want to. Yeah. But we'll, you'll see him probably in the NXT recap. Oh, yeah, because he... Like he says, he likes NXT a lot, so... Better than Raw and SmackDown, so... Oh, yeah. But let's get to Tuesday Night SmackDown. Mm -hmm. It first starts off with Kevin Owens, with the Kevin Owens show, and he introduces the first guest, Randy Orton, then he introduces the second guest, AJ Styles. Oh, yeah. And, of course, they're talking, they're talking about uh, their match at WrestleMania, pretty much. Back and forth, back and forth. And then, um, Owens leaves, and then you're sitting there and be like, Owens is like, well, yeah, we're sitting there like, yeah, yeah Owens is leaving, so you know there's going to be a brawl happening. Oh, yeah. And there was a brawl. Randy Orton and AJ Styles are going at it, going at it, they're fighting. And then Styles gets ready to do the phenomenal forearm. And it gets caught in an RKO. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a tough match to see who... I mean, I like them both. Yeah. I mean, they're both good. But I'm, if I had to pick, I might say AJ Styles. I'm sorry, Randy, but I kind of like Styles. I like them both. And it's, it's, a, it's a very hard decision. I like... Like I said, I like them both. But, but I might go with Randy Orton. You might go with Randy? I don't know. It's it's, just, it's hard. I like them both. I like Styles and I like Randy Orton, but but I know that this is going to be a good good match. Oh yeah. So it's kind of hard to choose. But yeah. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait for Sunday. Mm -hmm. Who do you think, Randy or AJ Styles? Are you a fan of an oldie or somewhat oldie, but not too old? So. Okay, first match of the night was Alistair Black, Ricochet, and the Usos. 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 <laughs> yeah. First, Rusev and Nakamura. Kevin. Kevin. And the New bar. Day. The eh? New Day. You mean the hey, bar. The bar. <laughs> My God. I'm so... Because <laughs> I'm so used to... Ugh. I'm sorry the about bar. that, but yes. And, yeah, well, you're pretty much, what are they really calling themselves the bar for? I don't they, know. What are they thinking about a bar? Like, you walk in and get some I don't know. Or they go they like this, they're like, yeah. Or a salad or something? I don't know. But. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, Alistair Black, Ricochet, and the Usos end up winning. The Usos were the winners of the match. They did, like, this. They did a super kick because he tagged the one Uso in, and I think he super kicked him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then anyway, as the match, Alexa Bliss comes out and she's like, "Ooh, yes, I'm back." But as the host of WrestleMania, mm -hmm. I see that there's going to be a SmackDown tag team. SmackDown Tag Team Title Match. Cause she pretty much wants to say spice it up a little bit, I think, right? Yep. Because we gotta spice it up. Oh yeah. The Usos, you will pretty much face everybody that was in that ring. Yeah. So it's gonna be the Usos versus Alistair Black and Ricochet versus Rusev Nakamura yep. versus and the, the bar. bar in a fatal four way for yep. the SmackDown Tag Team Turner Titles. Sauce and Baldy. And everybody's looking at each other, and they're all fighting down in the ring. But who stands tall is Alistair Black and Ricochet. Mm -hmm. Which is good, because Friday, Alistair Black and Ricochet have an NXT title shot. Which, and they're going against the War Raiders, which... I don't think they're going to beat the War Raiders. So if they lose against the War Raiders, they could probably win the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Yeah, we could be seeing some new, uh... And it's WrestleMania. Yeah. They get the WrestleMania moment. Yep, upcoming stars. I don't think they're going to beat the War Raiders at NXT or No, too soon. War Raiders just got them. So, it will be a good, good match. Mm -hmm. But, no. I don't think they're going to win. Uh... But, and then the Iconics come out. Skankin they're skankin. just pretty much talking about the title, saying that they're going to win at the, 
of WrestleMania. They're going to win the titles. Why not? And this, the pretty much when they win the titles, they're going to be iconic. Uh, <laughs> Loser comics. But, um, yeah. And then, out comes The Miz. Oh, yeah. And he pretty much is, um, yeah, he's just pretty much talking about WrestleMania pretty much and saying he's going to be the best and whatnot. And, um, he ends up being in a three-on-one handicap match. I guess Shane McMahon made the match against Miz against Sanity. And then, before the match starts, um, Shane comes out and he's pretty much saying, well, I want to watch the match. I want to watch it really close. Yeah. And then, then he makes that one guy say he's the best in the world. Of then course. he goes, get the match started. And then... Match is pretty much going. Yeah, it's going. And then Shane's like, you know what? Why don't we make this match like our WrestleMania match? A Falls Count Everywhere match! Yeah. So, it's gone. You think, ooh, the Miz is f mess really fucked out. But... Because it's 3-on-1 and a uh, Falls Got Anywhere match, but actually Miz won. I don't remember who he pinned. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I forgot his name. I don't even know. But he won. I think he did a school question. Now he put something. I don't know. Oh, well. But he won. Um, and then he's standing, like, in a park lot or something, and he's watching Shane leave, and then... Becky then shows up in the police car, <laughs> and he's saying, yeah, and then she's walking to the ring. She's just pretty much saying that she's the best, she made it to WrestleMania, whatnot, and this and that, she's going to have her moment, and whatnot, which, like I said, I want Becky Lynch to win. Oh, yeah. I do. So. Come on, Becky. Becky Lynch, you're the man. Oh, yeah. Not really the man, but... <laughs> You can't do it. Nobody can. <laughs> and then, and it'll be an 18 man mixed tag team match because they're pretty much girls that are going to be in the woman battle royal and men that's going to be in the man battle royal. Yeah. I'll do the battle royal. The first team was Naomi, Asuka, Carmella, Nikki Cross, Hardy Boys, R Truth, oh, yeah. and Heavy Machinery. Yeah. Verse, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Vega, Lana, Sienna Almez, EC3, The Club, and Shelton Benjamin. Now, <laughs> this match was crazy. It was like, it was like all, so much around the ring. So it's like, ooh, but you had your action and it ends up being a DQ because they all end up getting in the ring. And they're just all fighting, but fighting each other to rave, trying to eliminate everyone. But there was this funny moment with <laughs> Otis and Mandy Rose. He was trying to like shake his legs, <laughs> and Mandy Rose was like, uh, 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 uh. And Shelton Benjamin eliminates Otis, and Mandy's like, thank you, thank you. And then. Mandy Rose ends up getting eliminated by Nikki Cross. Because Nikki, Nikki wants to play. Yes. <laughs> play with Nikki. Oh, yeah. Play with Nikki. Nikki's awesome. And then Nikki's being all crazy with Shelton Benjamin hopping on his back. It was funny. Eliminating each other. And then still on his back. It's just crazy. And then it ends up being at the last moment, Asuka, Jeff Hardy, and... Who was it? Who did I eliminate? Who did they eliminate? Who did they eliminate? Oh, who did Jeff eliminate? He didn't twist the fade on him. Who was it? Oh, EC3. Duh. Oh, because EC3 eliminated Matt Hardy, and uh, Jeff Hardy did a twist the fate on EC3, and he was eliminated, and then Asuka eliminated Jeff Hardy, and she stands tall in the ring. Yep. So. Yeah, that's a crazy match. I mean, who would, who would you think to win the Aldridge Battle Royal? You got SmackDown and Raw Superstars in there, so ooh. it's kind of a mix-up. It's gonna be a 
another, pretty much another tough decision because yeah. there's a lot of good wrestlers on each. Yeah, because you got the Andre the Battle Royal for the men, and then you got that girl one. Mm hmm. That that trophy looks really retarded. Mm. And then the main event match was Samoa Joe versus Mustafa Ali. Yeah, um, it was a really quick match, really. Samoa Joe beat Mustafa Ali sleep. He didn't even tap. He just passed out, so he won. When of course, he blah, blah, blah. Put him in a clutch. So, he's just pretty much showing. That's why you got to do the Rey Mysterio, which, I don't know. Rey Mysterio's injured right now, so. But. I don't know if they're going to have that match. They might. They might still have Ruby Sarah versus Samoa Joe. We'll have to wait and see if, you know, he's up to it. So. <clears throat> and then the last ending was the contract signing with Danny Bryan and Kofi Kingston. This is where I meant. This is where the new day is. <laughs> this, I got it mixed up. This is where the new day and she's seeing grossness because Biggie pulled pancakes out of his. was so head. disgusting. <laughs> and oh. then Biggie's dancing in the ring the entire time Why the contract signed him Why Danny Bryan's yapping his mouth Saying that he used to be where Kofi is Everybody in the audience are just parasites And pretty much whatever Wants to pretty much teach him a lesson And yeah. And then Kofi's like At the look couple he's like You know what? No! It's time for me to teach you a lesson Show you education. I need my pocket. And it's just crazy. And then he signed the contract. So he is not screwed. So he is yeah. in that match. Yeah, because th I thought he was going to get screwed again. Yep. Always at the very last minute. You know, because then it came out Kevin Owens. And it was, it was. Ugh, I thought McMahon was going to tromp his little fat butt back out here. And yeah, so luckily. Ruin it again. I hope Kofi kicks and wins. He needs his WrestleMania. Yep, moment. bye bye, Daniel. Please, sorry, Daniel. You already have title shots. Let Kofi get it. I like you, Daniel Bryan, but I'm sorry, but I like Kofi Kingston better. Kofi Mania! Kofi King, Mania! Yeah. He's a lot better than you, Daniel. So, trouble in paradise. You're going to have a trouble in paradise. So, just keep going after your lackey, Rowan. Go on. Bye-bye, yeah. Daniel. <laughs> so, who, who do you think is going to win or want to win? Danny Bryan or Kofi? I say Kofi. I'm going with Kofi. Because so. I like Kofi. I have a new day, any day. <laughs> and then as Xavier was the second one. Bye-bye, Biggie. I don't like you. I never will. Yeah, she wants your pancakes, Biggie. No, I'll cram you in the porter potty with Kevin Owens. <laughs> but who do you think's gonna win, Miz or Shane McMahon? I think Miz is gonna win. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Miz. I'm not really a big fan of the Shane. Only time I liked Shane when it was not, when it was way back in the day, but so uh, I'm not. I'm really not a big fan of the Miz, but I like the Miz. He's a good wrestler. It's just that I'm not like. Ooh, I like really, really like him. <laughs> well, I know what's sad. Roman. Yeah, you know what's it. sad? Before there was Dean, Miz was where Dean's spot was. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, sorry, Dean is now number one. I, even if he's out of wrestling, he's still number one. He'll always be number one. Mm-hmm. So, but um, that was pretty much SmackDown Live. What you thought about the SmackDown before WrestleMania? I thought it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was alright. So, but yeah. Let us know and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello hey. and welcome back to 205. Yeah, yeah. Now, ooh. Tonight's 205. Oh, wow. So, this is the last one. Um, of course, to start with um, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Lucha. Calisto and yeah. Missy says he <laughs> he kind of swung his hips so there a little bit there, <laughs> kind of like a Big E. Yeah, she I she, she, she noticed Big E. Now I'd rather see Calisto do that, not Big E. Big E. See, L. see? she noticed Big E was swinging his hips for that air bro guy during the concert side. Uh, I'd rather she, I'd rather see Calisto do it, not Big E. What? Well, Kalisto went against Oni Lorcan. Mm -hmm. That match um, was really alright. It was back back forth action. But um, 
he only look in one with a half suplex. It's like Kalisto was still gonna do a top rope move, and he got countered with Oni's knees, and he went up to him and did a half suplex. So, yeah, yuck. And then there was Cedric Alexander with Drake. He was saying, "Piss out." He was asking, "Why didn't he get Oni?" He asked so much for the match. Why didn't he get it? Drake saying that. Cedric needs a break and so she's like no I don't need a break I just want Oni and Drake's like you need to be 100% yeah. I know you can do well when you're 100% I guess because you lost the last two times yes and Cedric's like okay okay boss and then he walked yep. away and then there was an interview with Tony Neese and I'm checker yeah and he was pretty much was um just talking about his match with Buddy Murphy at WrestleMania, and then he got attacked from behind with Buddy Murphy. Yeah, it was back and forth, back and forth. We end up going to the arena, trying to split them apart. Got to have checker shirt to rip. Yeah, that was like crazy. I want Tony Nice to win. Yeah, Ab checker, come on. I think he might win though. Yeah. I don't know. Buddy Murphy's girlfriend has lines or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Gotta see a recipe. Are you gonna help him? Or are you gonna be a cheater? That's a kick. That's a kickoff match. So. Mhm. Then the main event. Uh, it's a pretty much a rematch. Mike and Alice for Secure Tawaza. Mm -hmm. This time, Kira Tawaza has Brian Kendrick since Mike and Alice has Maria. Let's see if Mike can have a two win over Kira or what. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's see. Kira Tawaza ends up winning. Mike uh, Marie almost cheats, but Brian Kendrick caught on. Let's see how it went. Let's see. Let's see. Mike and Alice did like a move off the barricade to Kira Tawaza. Making um, Brian Kendrick is like, oh, check him, check him, check him, check him. But, um, he, uh, Mike was getting him back in the ring, and Brian was checking on Kira, and, uh, Mike punched Brian Kendrick, and then Gillis mm -hmm. kicked out of a top rope move by, um, Kira, because Kira was all up fighting, and he got him into a top rope move, and... Then there was more back and forth action. Then there was a Juma suplex. And, um, Tawaza got out of the top corner again. And then, and then, kick out, of course. And then, Mike did like this via roll up by the ropes. Maria, that's where she started cheating. She tried to help pin. Kendra caught on trying to get the ref's attention to show and then make him make uh, Murray all worried up and made Kira V rolled up him and he got him for the win. Yeah. So she tried to cheat. So now it's one and one. One yeah. win, one loss. <laughs> yeah. But I noticed Ma Mike and Alice had this like pink flower thing on his wrist. It's probably his daughter's. Yeah, it probably is. Probably, you know, I'm going to keep you with me. Because <laughs> why would he wear that? Probably that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was pretty much a short two or five months. I think it's because of WrestleMania around the corner. That's why. But I thought it was actually an interesting two or five months. Huh? But, yeah. But, um, yeah. But did you like a two or five live? Did you like uh, the main event? I'm excited to see Tony's first Buddy Murphy at WrestleMania. Did you like that part where she tried to cheat? Like oh, always, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was her. Like like I said, she pulled on the rope the one time and tried to cheat. She probably did. She always cheats. It's Maria Klaus for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, well, that's going to be it for this recap. Make yeah. sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see, we'll see you next time. time. Bye. Bye.